once you do get the vote to the voting booth, you'll have a lot of choices for a variety of offices, and we've been telling you about them for a while now, some of the big races. Yeah, so ones like president, governor, congressional races, state attorney general, also state superintendent, but those are just a few of the items that you'll be voting on this year on your ballots. So Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger is breaking down some of those other races and the connection that they have with the Charlotte area. And Derek, one contest is for the Commissioner of Insurance. Uh, yes, it is. In fact, uh, you may be wondering what exactly the Commissioner of Insurance is or what the State Department of Insurance actually does. They regulate the insurance industry and investigate insurance fraud in the state. They also license insurance agents in bail bondsmen and retirement communities and even inspect fire departments. They also license those who inspect your home and even help lead fire safety and prevention efforts. The current insurance commissioner is running for another term and is against a state senator from our area. Now, uh, let's start off with the person who's currently in the seat running for re-election. Republican Mike Causey has been an insurance agent and agency owner. He is an Army veteran, has several degrees, one of which is from UNC Charlotte. Now, Causey is running for a third term and his campaign website touts a focus on targeting fraud along with helping with a backlog of, in of inspections, which led to addressing response times and also lowering insurance rates. He also brings up working with health insurance providers and issues regarding denials of medical care. Natasha Marcus is running against Mike Causey on the Democratic side. She's right now a state senator for North and Northwest Mecklenburg County and has served on a number of committees in Raleigh, including the State Commerce and Insurance Committee. Her campaign website goes after Causey's ties to the insurance industry. Her platform includes ending excessive rate hikes and overcharging, as well as cracking down on insurance fraud and addressing natural disasters and the damage they cause before they hit uh, along with fair insurance coverage. Now, we should mention that a number of these state offices people will be voting for do have a Charlotte area connection. Both candidates for attorney general, for example, they do have significant Charlotte connections. Another race with a Charlotte candidate is commissioner for labor. We'll look at that race coming up at six. Alicia. Thank you, Derek.